Pyrolytic is a cleaning function that you can find on many of the SMEG ovens and it's indicated by a P in the model number. Now pyrolytic is probably one of the most simplest cleaning options we offer in our range in the sense that when it comes to looking after the oven you have to do very little to it to maintain it. Basically let the oven get as dirty as you like and then decide to clean it because it works by taking the oven up to 500 degrees centigrade and carbonising everything that's inside. So when the cycle is finished, quite simply, you're wiping out a dusting of ash, or in fact you could just use a vacuum cleaner. Now, with the function itself, as well as the model number, it is also indicated by a P. Now this model here is a touch control oven, and we'll find this in our special functions, so other functions that we see here. So if I go into it, you can see there's the P that we're talking for pyrolytic. Now, depending on the model, you decide how dirty your oven is, like this one with our touch controls. We can choose light, moderate, or even heavy dirt. On others, they have an eco pyro, which is a shorter version for a lightly soiled oven, or you have a more intensive general pyro. Once we've chosen how dirty our oven is, we confirm the start and the oven will now guide me what I have to do next. So here it's saying, remove all accessories from the oven cavity before starting the cooking function. So it's important to remove those accessories because they're not going to withstand the same heat that the main oven cavity can. So we need to remove, first of all, any internal furniture, and that includes the baking trays, wire racks, anything like that. And then we also need to remove the side runners. So these are very simple to remove, simply just by pulling them towards the centre of the oven and taking them out. And then the final step before starting off the pyrolytic cleaning process is just to give the door a simple wipe to remove any splashes. Once complete, pop the door shut and then we're ready to press play for pyrolytic. Now pyrolytic goes up to 500 degrees centigrade and sometimes the concern is, is it going to be safe? Now as soon as the oven gets to an unsafe temperature, then the door will lock. So it will be impossible to get into the oven once the pyrolytic process is in play. We'll also have four panes of glass, so quadruple glazing on our pyrolytic ovens to make sure that that heat doesn't transfer. And it's not just the glass that's there to protect the heat coming through. In fact, we're passing cool curtains of air between each pane to make sure that throughout that cycle, this one being a heavily soiled oven of three hours pyrolytic, it's not going to transfer. And then finally, I think the big question is, how much is it going to cost to run? Is it going to be expensive? Well, actually, it costs anything between 50 pence and a pound to run a pyrolytic process. And when you put that in the context of all of those different cleaning options that you would have to buy, so your sprays and your cloths, let alone the time that it takes to do all of that, then absolutely, pyrolytic is the most simplest way to clean your oven. As mentioned, once the pyrolytic process is complete, all of that debris and food spillages turn to ash. You can see it quite clearly in the base of the oven. Take a damp cloth, give it a wipe over, and then wipe over the base to give us that clean and brand new finish.